So a quick instructional video on the process of capturing images and establishing the metadata according to some version of the standards required by the GAHTC grant. So I might start in Google Images, uh, but even before that, I might prefer to check to see what is available in Wikipedia. Um, because it's rights cleared generally and it's very explicit about the rights and it's also uh, quite high resolution. So I look up my site, see if there's an entry. Uh, fortunately there is. I click on this symbol uh, in the corner. That brings me to the media, the Wikimedia viewer uh, version of all the images that are in here. And so I go to this symbol, which is the download symbol, and I start there. And I download the largest uh, version, the highest resolution version of the file I can get. And I put it in a folder uh, with the name of the site on it. Uh, and I don't care about the name of the file at this moment. Um, I just download it, and then I go to uh, the more details. And that takes me to this, which offers uh, a lot of the information about the history of this file, where it's used, and is most importantly for us, descriptive information and the copyrights. And so in here, I go to use this file and I grab the page URL. And I'll show you why. So I put that on the and I leave this window open, this sub-window, and I go back to Picasso, where in the meantime this has loaded. I left-click, or is that a right-click, but I control-click on a Mac, and I go down to either open the file if I have set the default uh, app for opening images, JPEG images, as Adobe Photoshop, or if not, I go here and I specifically request let's open it in Photoshop uh, or some other software where you can get access to these key fields in the metadata. So there's my image opened in a metadata uh, editing software. I go to File. This is, this is all specific to Photoshop from this point forward. I click on File Info or use the keyboard shortcut which opens this window. Uh, there are multiple windows here with very complex file hierarchy stru field structures. We go with the most basic window, and of all of these fields, we look at these three regarding copyright, and then we summarize that information in the document title, and then we duplicate the document title as the caption and the file name so that we have the same string of text. Uh, but the first thing is to construct that string of text. The copyright info URL is generally that URL back here that refers us to the page. And on that page you will find the complete copyright information, uh, at least the information we have. Um, here is the second thing we grab, it's the attribution. Usually that will state the author if the author requires acknowledgement and the terms of the copyright status. In this case, it's um, punting, taking us back here to look for the author. Um, and so this is where we're looking. We're looking. It's unknown. Okay. So in that case, we now return to the metadata window of Photoshop we paste whatever information uh, Wikimedia Commons is offering us uh, into that field. We interpret the information in that field to determine whether it's unknown copyright. The copyright status is unknown, copyrighted of some sort, or public domain. Here it says public domain, so we're going to say public domain. We then take this information, interpret it, and summarize it as succinctly as possible in this field in parentheses. And so I'm going to cite the author. There is no author. The author is unknown. Then I'm going to uh, pass along the copyrights as far as we can tell. 
In this case, it's public domain. And again, we're doing this in the most succinct manner possible. The other terms in the document title are the year, the relevant year of the project, not necessarily the year of the image. Um, although in this case, uh, this is a historical moment that's being shown, the state of this building at this point after the restoration, uh, once it was bombarded in 1895. So I am inclined, this is an interpretive act, I'm inclined to give the year uh, my keyboard is not responding. There it's going. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Now I'm saying I, I give the year a space, House of Wonders, uh, the location, the place name, not necessarily the current nation state. And then if the architect is known, I would put the architect's name here. Um, then I would copy this and I'd uh, put it on the clipboard. I close this, then I quit, or I don't quit, but I close the Photoshop file, save it, and I really don't care what it's called at this point, because I'm going to go and fix that in Picasa. And so in Picasa, I, I double click on this, which reveals the image, I can have access to the caption, I um, also have access to this command, which is the one I like. I go to File, Rename, and this is where I replace the name of the file. And I just paste what I wrote for the document title. Now I go into the caption and I do it again. But this time, I want to shorten the caption as much as possible. So if I know the architect's name, I cut and paste it there. In this case, that's pointless, and so I put this. And then I, uh, if the cursor is still flashing, it hasn't been registered in Picasa, so I push return. That registers it. I go back to the library, and there's my caption. I can play it, and there it is. It's working. Now, uh, at the end of this process, when I get a folder full of images, I load it into um, the Google Drive file hierarchy, which we'll have to uh, cover separately. Thanks.